Hi everyone, this is Shirley from Shirley's World. I see bumblebees here. Hi. Yes, my uh, inventory got low enough, I mean, for um, my reserve inventory, my stockpile got low enough that I thought I'd better go shopping today. So after the what's sold video, I'm going to do a in the same video, I'm going to uh, do a haul video from Goodwill today. I went this morning, and uh, there weren't very many people in the store, which is good. Uh, I got a few things. I intended on just getting pants. I was going to just do pants. Of course, that didn't work out because after I did got the pants, I decided I'd just just take a look in the tops. <laughs> So I did get a, uh, about $80 worth of things. That's with my coupon also. So, uh, All right. I'm going to share my screen and get started here. I had 16 sales on <clears throat> eBay and one Poshmark sale. Uh, I'm listing a lot. I'm listing... Uh, anywhere from six, seven, eight things a day, which my uh, sales per day isn't increasing much. So my sales for the week really isn't even as good as last week. I think I had 20 last week. I only have 16 this week from eBay. But, and I think I did have, maybe not. I thought I had a zero day, but I I don't think I did. Anyway, but I didn't fill in yesterday, but I know yesterday I made a sale. So let me uh, share my screen. Hi, Sue. <laughs> let me share my screen, and I'll show you what I sold the past week, and then we'll do the uh, haul video. So... Okay, here's my Poshmark sale. <clears throat> I sold one of my herringbone sport coats, the men's sport coats that I'm trying to get rid of. <laughs> it's been a slow go to get rid of these. Uh, this is a Brooks Brothers gray herringbone sport coat and it was all lamb's wool I believe it was a hundred percent lamb's wool it was a really nice uh, sport coat I don't know isn't anybody wearing sport coats and suits anymore maybe not I can't seem to uh, sell mine even at low prices uh, this one sold for thirty dollars which I was happy to get and out of that $30, I made $24 with Poshmark. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. The next thing I sold was everything from now on is eBay. So, And everything, unless I mention it, has shipping attached to it that the buyer pays. So this is a uh, open sweater, open cardigan. Uh, this is Marina Wool. Uh, Cynthia Rowley is the brand. It was a medium and uh, it was a pretty heavy uh, open cardigan sweater with pockets down there. You can see. And that sold for $17.99. Uh, and it went to Whittier, California. I didn't write down where the suit coat went to on here, so I'm not sure where it went. <clears throat> But this went to uh, Whittier, California. Uh, the next thing is this little Angela Plus Romantic Ruffle Tank. I believe Bumblebee gave me this. All right, it was one of her in one of her boxes. It was really pretty and had a lot of ruffles at the sleeves. And it was a big size of. 3XL. I'm going to sneeze. Ooh. Ooh. 
There's usually three, but maybe not. Anyway, this little top sold for $18. That was the best offer. Or maybe it wasn't. That's what it is. Yes, best offer accepted. Okay. Um, it went to Solberry, Pennsylvania. And it sold on Monday. The next thing is one of these little um, loveys. They're called loveys. And it's a little, what they are is a little uh, stuffed animal attached to a tiny little blankie. And they're called loveys. And this one was a little giraffe. It's really cute. <laughs> and uh, that's how big he is. Not very big. But he went for $14.99. I did charge shipping on him. And um, I don't have best offer on my plush animals. I don't think any of them. So they go for what I put on. So it sold for $14.99. It went to Louisville, Kentucky. And here's a pair of cycling shorts, compression shorts. And I think... Um, I'm pretty sure Bumblebee, this is in one of her boxes, it was a men's size extra large in this blue, and it was by the brand Bike, B-I-K-E. And that sold for $13.19. That was a sale price that was on there. When I looked at this brand up, they didn't go for very much money, so I did put a $14.99, and they went on sale. So thirteen nineteen is what it's sold for. <clears throat> and here's one of these. Remember, I got a whole bunch. Well, not a whole bunch. Maybe five Miss Me jeans at my Goodwill. They had brought just brought them out, and I couldn't believe my eyes. There were all these Miss Me jeans. Uh, so I picked up ones that uh, were in really good condition. This is a size. These are capris, actually. And they uh, had jeweled flap pockets in the back. This was all sparkly and jeweled. It doesn't sparkle on here, but it does. <clears throat> and with turned up cuffs and size 28, just a little size. And those sold for $30, best offer. Here is a Knox uh, Rose Cottage Core Top. I had quite a bit of interest in this top. I had several offers, low ball offers, and then somebody finally did um, buy it for uh, an offer that I sent out for $17.77, and somebody accepted that. And it sold and went to Elizabeth, New Jersey. <clears throat> this had uh, bell sleeves on it. And it had uh, crocheting, open, like open crocheting, too. It's a pretty low blast. Uh, the next thing was another pretty blast that I like. This was a tunic length. This is a shirt, really soft. It was rayon, mostly rayon, I think. Uh, this blue window pane, it was a size 20. And it sold for a best offer of $20. And this went to Silverton, Oregon. Yeah, Oregon. <clears throat> uh, I sold the Speedo Racer Back One Piece Swimsuit. This, I think, came also in one of Bumblebee's boxes. I think. But I would buy Speedo once in a while, too. So I'm not sure which this one is, who this one is from. But, um... Uh, it sold for an offer to watchers for 1977 and it went to Chicago, Illinois. Uh, this is when one of those boxes, the Bumblebee scent of all the health and beauty items. This I thought was the strangest thing. It's two, there's these gloves on the front, like a mitten, and this little thing you put over your fingers. And then on the back, there's this glove. <clears throat> and what these gloves are for is when you apply uh, a tanning, 
lotion. Sometimes it makes your hands discolored. Well, this is so it doesn't do that. You use you put the glove on to apply the tanning lotions. So I'm I'm not sure if the tanning lotions still do that. I know they used to when they first came out. If you used your hands, your hands would be all orange. <laughs> When, if you didn't wash it off, off right away. So that sold for $8.99. Uh, that was free shipping, though. It only weighed like four ounces to mail out them. So I spent, out of that $8.99, I had to spend $3.06 to mail it. The next thing is this Carhartt uh, Henley Long Top long sleeve top in a 2XL. This is a men's sort of like a waffle weave uh, top, but a great brand, Carhartt. Uh, Carhartt and Duluth Trading Company are, I always do well with. So this sold for $17.59, which was the sale price. And it went to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Now, here's this pretty torrid sheer tunic top. It had a uh, pleating here, pin tuck pleating at the front. It was quite sheer. I mean, you couldn't see through it exactly, but like semi sheer. It was really pretty colors. And that sold for $18 best offer. And it went to Chelsea, Michigan. <clears throat> Okay, here is the first thing I sold from, well, first I have to tell you, I went to help Michelle out one day. I think it was last Monday. I spent most of the day over at her house, and we got her shelving put together, and we put have some uh, clothing racks we put together, and I had brought her a bunch of bags and things, eBay bags, because I get them for free. She doesn't have a store yet, so she doesn't get them. So I took her a bunch of stuff and um, also a rug backdrop. It's an indoor-outdoor carpeting. It's really thin. You can get it at Home Depot, and it's gray. And it's what Chris, uh, Chris uses in his new store, if you know who I mean and what I'm talking about. Anyway, it's that same carpeting. I found it in my Home Depot, so I bought it. It was only it was a huge piece, and it was only twenty dollars. So I bought it and took it out to her, and we cut it the size that she wanted. And I should have taken the rest of it home because now I think she's going to bring me the rest of it. <laughs> but anyway, she gave me a bag, one of the bags of things. Uh, she has a half a garage full of big black garbage leaf bags full of uh, inventory from this woman that she got it from. So it's all plus size things. So this, I got, I picked a bag. She, she wouldn't pick it for me. She made me pick it. So I picked it. It was an okay bag. I, I put three or four things in a Goodwill bag. I'm going to take to Goodwill. And there's some sun visors and things that won't sell for hardly anything. But this is one of the things that I put on. It's a full zip front. It's fleece. You know, that fleecy. It's polyester, but it's fleece uh, with elastic around the bottom hem and around the cuffs. And it zips all the way up to make that high neck. But you can, of course, zip it down. And it had this leaf. Uh, I don't know if this these are leaves or feathers. Now they look like feathers to me. I think on the on the description I put leaves, but now it looks like feathers. <laughs> but anyway, here it is by Alfred Dunner, a brand that I never ever bought. Uh, it's Alfred Dunner Woman. And it was a size 2X. And 
it sold like the day after I put it on. And I did take a best offer of $18.50 for it. And it went to Honey Grove, Texas. So uh, I was really happy about that. Of course, Michelle isn't real happy. <laughs> I have another one that I just put on, too. Uh, that same fleece by Alfred Dunner. It hasn't sold yet, but it's more wintery because it has snowflakes on it. <clears throat> But we'll see. But that's what that's the first thing I've sold out of her bag. Uh, this uh, person had to pay quite a bit of shipping on this because they had to go priority. So it went to Texas. <clears throat> uh, the next thing is a Not Your Daughter's Jeans, Lift and Tuck Jeans, uh, size 12. This was the Barber, Barbara style, is a boot cut and uh, size uh, 30 inch inseam. It was a size 12. And this sold for $23.75, the sale price. And it went to Ogilby, Oglesby, Illinois. I thought Oglesby was in like North Carolina or wherever it was near the in on the in the east. There must be one in Illinois too. Maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. Sue, it didn't mom and dad always go to Oglesby? But I don't think it was in Illinois, was it? <clears throat> anyway, this uh these jeans sold for $23.75, which was the sale price. And I've had them for quite a while, I think. But they finally sell. Um, not your daughter's jeans. Uh, they sell sooner or later. So <clears throat> Here's a J. Jill Wherever collection. It was a cap sleeve little t-shirt. Uh, this turquoise with black stripe. And it sold for, an, I sent an offer to Watchers out for $16.44. And somebody bought it for that. And it went to Lidditz, Lid, Lidditz Pennsylvania. Boy, that's hard to say. <laughs> Lidditz. Oh, here. Now, I've had these for quite a while. Now, I don't normally buy little kids' shoes. I couldn't help myself. These were little toddler shoes, size seven and a half toddlers. But they were Sperry Topsiders. And they were so cute. They even look bigger here than they really were. They're just little. And I've had them for quite a while. And uh, they finally sold for $13.15, which was the sale price on them. I didn't have very much, much on them because... I don't really sell kids things, but they finally sold. I mailed them out. They went to uh, Fort Knox, Texas, those little <clears throat> toddler shoes. Okay, here's something of mine. This is a little vintage. It's a li all aluminum, though. It's heavy aluminum. And I had had that just this just laying on a table with... You can put nuts in it or whatever you want. It's a 12-ounce scoop. It's for country decor, really. And uh, I sold it for $11.99. It was, that's what it was on for. I don't think I had a best offer on that. I don't usually put best offers on my own stuff. So it sold... Uh, and went standard shipping, which was five dollars to Killian or Killeen, Texas. So I've had both Texas and California sales as usual. So that is what I sold. <clears throat> now I wanted to show you, I put a tab here of my daughter's store. Now, if anybody wants to go visit her, 
this is her store name so far because she hasn't changed. She hasn't picked a name yet for her store. So it's part of her name here. And she, she may have more than six feedback today. I'm not sure because she sold a couple of things yesterday. But she has 41 items in her store already. So she's been listing. Uh, she's been listing a lot. So her pictures look pretty good. She was... Uh, this is this gray carpeting I was telling you about. I think it makes a nice uh, backdrop. <clears throat> so, yeah, she has a lot of things in her store now. So, if you want to drop by and visit her, <laughs> she definitely needs feedback. That's what she needs. So, let me come back here. Stop sharing. Come back here. Uh, that was a little uh, advertisement for my daughter's story. Um, okay. I got, <clears throat> I couldn't believe it. I had a 35% off coupon. I also got a couple things that were half price. I, I didn't figure this out today, but I, I bought 28 items and it came, it came out $1 under what I needed to get my next 35% off coupon. So I took these things to the car, these 28 things, and I came back in the store and I bought one more item. <laughs> so I also got one more item. So actually 29 items, 29 items altogether. And I spent $81. Plus then I went back in and spent another $5. Because that, I didn't want to use a coupon for buying one thing. So I had to spend $4.99 for a hoodie that I bought. But I'll show you. <clears throat> So anyway, it was worth it to get another coupon. So I didn't, let me read the comments because I can't see them when I have the, uh, when I share the screen. Uh, cycling. Yes, the Speedo is yours and the Torrid Top. The fleece jackets are popular and so cozy. Yeah, that's it looks like feathers to me now, too. Oh, well. It's sold. The keyword Nordic might be helpful with the snowflake pattern. Ah, let me write that down so I don't forget that. Nordic. <clears throat> West Virginia, Ogilvy, there's an Oglesby, Ogles, Ogilvy, Oglesby in West Virginia also. Okay, so there must be two. <clears throat> yeah, I remember Jack, uh, my late husband, he used to go with a group of guys and play golf there. But it was on the mountains and it was very hard, uh, a hard course to play. So, let me, uh, first I'll show you the things that I have in the barrel here next to me, and then I'll get up and show you the clothes I've hung up. Uh, I got a pair of shoes. They're brand new. They've never been worn, and they're by that SAS, which is... I think it's San San Francisco, no, a San Antonio Shoe Company is what that stands for. Uh, they have a really soft sole, and they're sort of a little bit of a wedge. They're black fabric, and they're size 7 wide, so it's good size, and it's the only shoes I've found. 
that I picked up. <clears throat> okay, I sold a pair of bike shorts, and then I found a pair of bike shorts. These are by Pearl Azuma. And these are the serious biker shorts. These have padding here on your, on your, these are men's. So there's padding all the way up the front and all the way up the back. So sitting on those little seats are uncomfortable when you're biking. And there's the uh, na uh, logo for it. It's a Pearl Izumo. <clears throat> There is what it is. And these are a medium. And new, these are $50, $50 or $60. This is in really good condition. Uh, for resale, they sell anywhere $25 to $30. So I should be able to get that for these. And it's a good size of medium. <clears throat> I got two pair of just running shorts. I didn't buy any more booty shorts because it's middle of August and I'm going to start to buy more jeans. So this is a pair of Under Armour. Just little, these are extra small ones. Uh, little running shorts. They have the panties underneath. Little girls, uh, women's running shorts. That pair, and then I got this pair, and this is uh, by Old Navy, Old Navy Active, and these are bigger. These are a size medium in the white, and they have the little panties underneath them. They're in really good, clean condition. So those are the two pair of running shorts that I got. Then I had to rescue a couple more elephants. <laughs> Here's this guy. He's bigger. And he is by, where's his tag? He is by the Animal Planet. And it's a Coles Care one. Sold in Coles when they do the stuffed animals. So he's all fuzzy and uh, very cute. Oh, with great big ears, of course, and a trunk. Uh, that elephant. <laughs> and I got a smaller elephant. This little guy, and he has a little bit of a tassel on his tail. And this is by Adventure Planet. I never heard of Adventure Planet, so I have to look, look him up. But I have to buy elephants. It's just a thing with me. So he's a little smaller one, very soft. <clears throat> and then I got one vintage Thai Beanie Baby. And this is a uh, little owl. It's from 1995. And he has a tag and everything still on. And his name is Hoot. And this is Hoot. Little owl. So I got my stuffed animals. So now I bought, went to the men's department first to look at the jeans. And finally, I found some Levi's. Remember, I haven't been able to find any anywhere. Where well, this is a pair of 550, or five, yeah, 550, not 505, 550 Levi jeans, men's. These are a 46, I believe. 46 by 32. Let me see here. I'm sure that's what I looked up. <clears throat> 46 by 32. Yeah. They are just straight leg, straight leg uh, jeans. So finally a pair of Levi's. The tag of the day uh, or the week was green, so this is yellow. So if we run across some green, that they were half price. 
jeans in my store are about six dollars regular price and then i take 35 percent off of that throw my these heavy jeans on my elephants <clears throat> Okay, here's a pair of Carhartts, great brand, Carhartt, and I didn't know, I didn't even look at these good, because I didn't realize till I got home that these are carpenter pants, which makes them even better. These are carpenter jeans, with the pockets here, and the loop here. And they are size 36 by 30. Now they do have a couple warm spots back here on the bum. But I don't think guys, these are work pants. I don't think that's going to make any difference in them buying their jeans. <clears throat> so they're straight leg, big straight leg relaxed type style of jean. <clears throat> then I was listening to somebody who was talking about jeans and uh, he happened to mention this or I wouldn't have known remembered about this. Now these are silver tab by Levi's. That makes them Vintage. These are vintage silver tab jeans. And these are a size 11. So they're juniors. Uh, 11 medium. They're juniors in this lighter wash. And they have like almost flare. They're either great big boot cut or they're flare. I'm going to have to measure and see exactly what this style is, <clears throat> if it has a style name on here. I'm not sure it does. It has a bunch of numbers, so maybe I can look it up. But they, they do look flare to me. They're zipper fly, and they are at least a mid-rise. They're not... They don't look real high rise, but they are at least a mid rise. So that was, I, it's a good thing I listened to that guy about jeans. And I can't tell you his name either, but you now I just go around and pull up people that I haven't seen before and listen. Yeah, silver tabs. Yeah, I was. Really happy about finding those. Uh, I found another pair of Levi's. Now this is almost impossible to read what the the style is. I don't know if these are. You can almost see it, but I'm thinking it says five o five. Because there's no such thing as 503, and that's the next thing it looks like. So, I don't know. I can't say for sure what these are. But, they are straight leg. They do have wear on the bottom back hem. And they are size... <clears throat> 33 by 32. So these are these are men's pants. A zipper fly. Look like straight leg to me. <clears throat> so we'll see. I bought them because I never see Levi's anymore. Uh. Then I found a pair of really good condition Talbots. Uh, these are 18W, which is a plus size. They're curvy ankle jeans, and they're in this dark wash. And they look like to be high rise for sure. 
and they evidently just go to the ankle. I suppose it depends on how tall you are. But they are uh, 18W, curvy ankle style. Talbots. And Talbots retail is very expensive. It's a mall brand, but <clears throat> it's still expensive. And I found another pair of Talbots, and this one is new with tags. Unfortunately, they ripped the section that had the price on it. But these are slimming, and they do have a number on here, so I might be able to pull up. They are uh, Talbots Flawless, and they are 12 Petite, like all the Talbots I seem to see in there. High Rise Barely Boot. So that's the style. They're high rise, and they're barely boot cut. <laughs> and they're brand new. So, glad to pick those up. So that's all in my barrel here. So I'm going to have to stand up and show you what's on my rack of clothes. <sighs> Maybe I can just tilt this. <clears throat> Get the chair out of the way. I don't know if this is going to work, but... Let me tilt this up a little bit. Stay. Okay, a pair of pants. I didn't have a pants hanger. These are first. No, that's not a green tag. Uh, they're like linen. They're either linen or linen blend. They have elastic around the bottom ankle and elastic top. They're pull-on pants, and they have a cord here. And they are by Athleta, which I've been finding a few of lately. So they're Athleta, size 10. I'm pretty sure they're linen. Here's the tag here. I may have to talk, take off this I don't know why my air conditioner isn't going on. Mm. Yes, 100% linen. So, zipper pockets in the front and pockets on the back. So, a pair of gray linen, almost like jogging jogger pants because they have the elastic on the bottom. That's what I'll call them. And here's a brand that I don't normally buy, except when they are bib overalls. These are, um, what's this brand, Forever 21? Is that what it is? Yeah, Forever 21. And they are a small, small pair of Bib overalls. They're in really good condition. When I first moved to this house and I was doing a lot of gardening, I wore bib overalls because <laughs> I fa felt like I was a country girl when I moved out here. So, yeah, they're cute. I think they'll sell. Okay, this is a uh, pretty heavy uh, hoodie jacket by Under Armour. This is a men's, a men's size meat large. This is a large, although well, it doesn't look like a, but the sleeves are really long, so it has to be a men's. <clears throat> Here's the pattern. It's in excellent condition. A really warm feeling jacket with a hood, attached hood. Here's a, another Talbots. Oh, 
Why is it doing that? Talbot's. Can you see that? Oh, well, medium. <laughs> it's this wine color. Uh, it's just a sweater. But I bet this in the store costs probably $60. <clears throat> this had a green tag on also. Is one of the reasons I bought. So this was half price. So this only cost like two seventy-five, I think. This. <clears throat> what is this made of? It feels like cotton, but I'm not sure what it's made of. And here is this. I can't keep. I can't stop buying Lucky Brand. Now I really like this pattern. This fabric is crepey like has some buttons down the front but it's tunic length it's it's really long uh, long sleeve and it's a large size so I just thought it was a neat looking blouse or a tunic I picked that up Here's sort of a cottage core item also. This one's by Knox Rose. It's sleeveless, has little cap sleeves. We call these cap sleeves. This is all embroidered here. And it has like a, almost a peplum. And it has that open crocheting type thing around here. So it's this slate blue. It, I don't know if that, it's just not, it's showing more purple on the screen, but it's more of a slate blue color. Just a little blouse. Now here's a real plain Jane gray t-shirt. However, it's made by Madewell, so I did pick it up <laughs> just because of the brand name. I mean, it's nothing special. I don't think it'll go for very much, but it's a good brand and it's a size large. Just a plain uh, well, actually, it's shorter in the back. That's strange. It has this big, long thing in the front and then the back is shorter. Usually, it's the other way around. But, yeah, that's the front. The front is longer. <clears throat> okay, here's a Banana Republic. This is just a plain gray striped, if you can see the stripes. Striped Banana Republic uh, men's uh, golf polo shirt. However, I got it because it's a large tall. <clears throat> My husband was a tall, and he had such trouble buying clothes that I know it's hard to get uh, tall sizes. So whenever I see a tall, I pick it up. So this is a men's large tall golf polo shirt. <clears throat> Here's another sort of a plain. But it's, there's the whale there. This is Vineyard Vines. It's a men's t-shirt, size large. There's a little insignia up there too, a little whale. There's a short sleeve gray t-shirt, nothing much. Here's a brand I don't find too much, but uh, this is that Play One, I think is how you pronounce it, Play One. It's a, uh, I think it's just polyester, feels like polyester, um, with a V-neck here. It's a blouse, pullover blouse. 
like work career wear, wear out, dress your blouse. <clears throat> then I found this uh, bright green western shirt. This is a girl's western shirt. And instead of pearl snaps, they're snaps, but they're rhinestones. They're all rhinestones, snaps. And it's jeweled on the back. And it has uh, rhinestones. There is a mark on the cuff here, which I'll try to get off. But this is a typical horse show blouse, western blouse that you wear to show. It's <clears throat> sparkly. So that's why I picked it up. So it's an extra, extra large also. This is a Rang by Wrangler. <clears throat> Pretty sure it's a woman's, but you never know. I mean, they can get dressed up in the men's Western show department also. It's hard to tell if this is a men's or a women's. The sleeves are pretty darn long, but it is an extra, extra large. So, the screen won't stay up. Okay, this is uh, Saturday, Sunday, which is really uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's the brand name of this. It's a uh, uh, anthropology uh, brand. It's carried in anthropology. And this is an open, uh, they call this a waterfall front of a sweater. It's two shades of gray. And the back has uh, this raw edging going down the middle. This has some serious pilling problems that I think I can just pick off and makes me wonder what this is made out of. Because a lot of times the better yarns are the ones that pill. Uh, I'm just going to have to get my magnifying glass and find out what this is because I can't even, this is terrible. My sight is getting worse and worse. I can't make that out, what that says. So it's soft, so we'll see. <laughs> Okay, normally I wouldn't pick this up. This is by Tommy Hilfiger, and it's a small. It's a small pullover sweater in this uh, striped. However, it has a price tag on it. It's brand new with tags and a price tag of $59.99. So Christmas is coming. So I picked it up. It's good to have some new things in your store. So extra small or small, small, small little uh, fitted sweater, Tommy Hilfiger. Now here is a medium. This is J. Crew, but this is cashmere blend. Not all cashmere, but it's a cashmere blend. Uh, it's a It doesn't say exactly how much cashmere. I didn't look at the other tag. But also, on the back of the sleeves, it's more than elbow patches. It's uh, all the way from the elbow down to the cuff. And this is like a vegan leather. I'm sure it's not real leather. I didn't look at the contents. But I thought that made it different enough to buy this. It's just a beige or tan uh, sweater. It's a high-low also. 
J. Crew. Then I found Ivory Ella again, my little elephant. This is a, I sold the one I had before. Has the little elephant here on the pocket. And on the back has this really pretty uh, elephant on it. And the brand is Ivory Ella. And this is a size large. And this brand is uh, made, well, it just says Save the Elephants. I don't know if new, if you buy these new, if the, a portion goes toward that or not. I don't know. But I'm just thinking maybe I'm all for saving the elephants. So, got that. And then when I went back, when I went back into the store to buy one more thing, I found another one. I found another Ivory Ella. And this I paid full price for. So this was like $5. But I just might keep this. It's a uh, hoodie, full zip front, with little Ella on there. This is kind of a strange color for me. It's a lightweight knit on top. I'll have to try it on and see if I like it or not. It's a large. It may be a little too big, but we'll see. Look kind of big. But, yeah, Ivory Ella. When you look this up, it doesn't go for much. I just happen to like the, the look of the brand. That's all. So that is what I got. Let me get my chair again here. Let's see what people are saying. Uh, another cell similar. Yes. Right. Yes. Good. Uh, here. Let me go up here. Oh, there's a lot here. You were ribbed on that Talbot sweater, the purple, the wine one, yes. You owe draws. Linen pants will sell well. So glad to see you for a haul and longer video. Missing you twice weekly. Maybe just list silver tab jeans by measurements as they look big for a junior's 11. Maybe I can't tell from here. Maybe modern sizes have changed. Yeah, they do look a little big. Uh, okay. Lucky brand sells for me. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I have lots of similar things. Oh, I can tilt my screen. Lots of cell similars for Lucky Brand. I have a lot of those. Uh, and the Knox Rose, right. Watching other you, let me put this up. Watching other YouTubers, I get the idea using cell similar on your own sold item helps boost higher in search as algorithm wants to make another sale. Do you think it does, do you think it, which does better when you sell similar on your own things or if you sell similar on somebody else's sold things? I'm not sure. Pleione, Pleione, Anthropology. Perhaps the gray shirt that is longer in the front is meant to have a knot tied in it. Oh, maybe. Never thought of that. You just have to take that one big wad and tie a knot. Maybe. Prepper. Hi, Prepper. <laughs> that could be. Because I'm not up on exactly all the styles here. 
which is bad because I'm a reseller of clothing. <clears throat> I never thought of that, though. Love the Western shirt. Good thing you went shopping. <laughs> yeah. How does it button? Which? How does what button? I'm not sure which one you meant. I've had good success with a new hand razor on pilling. Yeah, my uh, sweater shaver, I don't know if I just need a new one and it's not sharp anymore or what, but it's not doing much anymore. I think I need a new one. Or like you say, maybe I'll use a new, uh, just a new razor blade, razor. <clears throat> Another cell similar on Ella. You think it's better on my soles? Oh, the Western shirt. It doesn't button it. Those are snaps. They're snaps like the pearl snaps, only instead of pearls, they're, uh, they're rhinestones. So they're snap. They, it snaps down the front. <clears throat> I think I got everything, did I? I'll, I'll have to try to knot that gray shirt and see what it looks like. It could very well be because it seems strange just to have it long like that in the front. Yeah, when I was in, when I was checking out of Goodwill, I got a phone call from uh, Judy. She was heading toward the barn and she wondered if I was going to come up there because Emily was going to ride my horse, Echo. And I would have loved to go, but I had to get home here to do this video. So a lot was going on today. And the Browns game is probably over now because it had two minutes to go when this started. And we were ahead by four points. I certainly hope we didn't blow it. <laughs> so it's the first game. Real game. Uh, oh, I know what you meant. That's right. I didn't even think of that. Oh, it's a woman's. It's a woman's. It buttons like the woman's. I didn't think of that because it wasn't buttons, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, buttons like a woman's. So it's just a big size women's uh, western shirt. So now I have to tell you, you know, I've been in misery here without a dog. I mean, I just can't get used to not having a dog at all. It's not okay. And when I come into the house, like today, when I was out and I came home, there's nobody to greet me. My cat doesn't greet me. <laughs> she could care less unless it's feeding time. And it's just sad. I hate it. And I've been so upset about Dexter. And so anyway, I started looking on the rescue, on the Pointer Rescue Organization. And lo and behold, up pops a brand new listing of a pocket pointer. Pocket pointers are just smaller size pointers. Instead of being 50, 55 pounds, they're like 35 pounds. They're not 
pocket. Like, by pocket, it doesn't mean it can fit in your pocket, like a little tiny poodle or something. It's just a smaller size. So here was this little pointer, a little girl. Her name is Penny. So I immediately asked how old she was. She's seven, six or seven. And she was got, she was uh, obtained through the, through the pointer organization. Uh, these people that have her in South Carolina got her through them and they've had her for four years. But they also have a couple other pointers. One's a special needs dog, but one's a great big female pointer. I think it's a female. That's a big bully. <laughs> and she's been bullying this little dog more and more and more until she's all actually injured her. I mean, a couple times. They've had to have the vet stitch up some things. And also, uh, she lays in front of the, my, this dog goes in her crate when she wants to get away from this dog or when she wants to take a nap, she goes in her crate. So she was laying in her crate and the big dog came and just laid in front of the crate and wouldn't let her out. And so they finally decided to give her back to the rescue and, uh, to find her a home where she would be happier and not bullied. So they're really upset about it because they've had her for four years. And she's a really uh, docile dog uh, that is very loving. And she's already trained to the invisible fence. The reason why they put the invisible fence up, because they already had a big fence. But she's an escape artist, evidently. She climbs fences. So I don't have a fence. <clears throat> I only have the invisible fence. Uh, so I will have to retrain her to where mine is. But she knows what the invisible fence is. And she's been fine since they got it. But they have both. They have the uh, actual fence and the invisible fence. So. I don't know how it will be, but up until she gets trained, she'll have to be on a leash, on uh, a halter and leash all the time when she goes out. Because at the moment, my fence is, is down. Uh, it started beeping a few months ago. Dexter didn't really need it anymore. And uh, I just unplugged it. But I have to have them come out and find the break in the wire. Because that's when it goes down. <clears throat> oh, my ka -ching. So, um, yeah, so uh, that can't get fixed for about a month. So during this time, in between time, I'm going to have to be really careful. And no open doors. And she can only go out on a leash. So let me see what my ka -ching was. You won't believe, wait till my daughter hears this one. I'm, I got two sales. Well, one is an Old Navy microfloral mini uh, shift dress in an extra, extra large. I'm not sure. That might have come from you, Bumblebee. But the, the ka-ching we just heard was the other, the other Alfred Dunner fleece top. Son of a gun. Maybe I should have been buying those Alfred Dunner things all the time. This one sold for $19.77. I sent that offer out this morning. So it even sold a little bit more than the first one. This is the one with the snowflakes, so I don't have to put Nordic on there. <laughs> How about that? This was a 2X also. Oh, dear. Yeah. So 
I should have put a picture of her on the tab so I could show you. Darn it. I will next time. I'll show you a picture. She's uh, she's a little girl, and she has an entirely black head, and then her spots, then she's white with the black spots, her body. So she's sort of different looking with the black head. Uh, she's going to be really pretty. So the, they've already arranged the transport. She's coming from South Carolina. Uh, the transport will be on September 4th. It's Saturday. It's the Saturday of the holiday. It's the thing. Uh, the transport team is, everybody does like under 100 miles. Everybody does slotches of the, of the transport. And it's it's about halfway filled up as of yesterday. I haven't looked today. And then I do the last part. But they have me going into close to Akron, which I don't like to go into Akron. So my dog walker, who helped me pick up Spirit, the last one I picked up, uh, she's going to drive and go with me. So that will be on Saturday, September 4th. I will get her, and I won't get her here till the evening of Saturday. So that Sunday, I will be able to maybe show you her. So I'm all excited. It'd be good to have a dog in the house, even though it hasn't been that long. It's been longer than I thought. It, it it doesn't seem like hardly any time, but the date is actually a lot longer than it's, it was the 18th of July already. It's been a month. I can hardly believe that the Dexter went to heaven. But it's already been a little over a month. I was going to not get a pointer again. I was going to get another breed. But this little one came up just when I was looking at the site. So I don't know, maybe it's meant to be. Yeah, I think we do need each other. Uh, she's very, she's supposed to be very lovey. And I need a very lovey dog right now. Like Dexter. Dexter was a very lovey dog. So. That's that. Uh, I'm going to uh, close for now. Go see if we won the uh, football game. And get my other uh, fleece item out i hope i hope that doesn't upset my daughter i'm sure she has more of those in her bags she'll be hunting those out now to put them on i'll tell her she better search for them and put them on winter's coming so i'm going to close for now thanks for joining everybody and uh i will see you Maybe next week, if I ever get a recorded video done, and uh, for sure next Sunday, I'll try to get one another one on during the week sometime. Oh, do I have a box coming this next week, Bumblebee? Maybe I'll have a box opening. I think it's my, I think this next week is my box week. So, hopefully, <laughs> yes, okay, that's what that, I couldn't see the, uh, I couldn't see the little box there. Okay, <laughs> good, that's perfect. 
So Wednesday or Thursday, whenever it comes, I'll hit I'll do the box opening from Bumblebee. That would be perfect. So uh I'll see you then. Bye.